In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how do I trade options with a small account? I'm going to share with you the three ways that I've traded options in a small account, which will help you turn that small account into a large account. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year stock and option trader, as well as real estate investor. If you're already a member of our community, thank you for setting aside a part of your day to be here. If you're not already a member of this community, go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be joining a community of traders and investors that are helping each other become more knowledgeable and profitable. In this video, I'm going to show you three techniques I use to trade options that you can use in a small trading account. These are time-tested and proven techniques that I have used for many years to consistently generate awesome returns. But these techniques are not just for small accounts. Even if you have a modest or larger account, these are techniques that you can use to generate awesome cash flow and returns. What trading techniques are you currently using? Or are you brand new to option trading? In the comments below, let me know what your favorite option trading technique is or if you're brand new to option trading. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you my favorite technique I suggest you use if you're trading options with a small account. I'm going to approach this subject from the perspective of an option trader that has a $3,000 trading account. The first technique is kind of obvious, so I'll make it short, sweet, and simple. My third most favorite way for an option trader with a small or cash account to trade options is to stick to stocks in which they can afford to buy 100 shares of that stock. So for example, if you have a $3,000 account, then you would need to stick to selling put options on stocks whose strike price you sell is $30 per share or less. This does limit the universe of stocks that you can sell put options on, but as you can see on my screen, there's actually quite a few stocks you can sell a $30 strike put option on of the stocks that I'm currently tracking and trading. This technique does limit you primarily to selling put options initially, but it does allow for if the stock is put into your account, then you can begin to sell call options against it. One of the reasons why I like this technique is that you don't have to worry about a margin call. This is a technique that you can put a position on and not have to look at it every day because you're not using margin. On the other hand, one of the reasons why I don't like this technique is because you have all your money tied up in just one position. However, one way you can work around this is by trading in an ETF instead of a single stock. Here's a list of all the all-star ETFs on E-Trade that are currently trading around or under $30 per share. Now these are not my suggestions, I just want to show you that there are some ETFs out there that you could potentially trade in. You just have to find an ETF whose current strike prices you can sell for $30 or less per share if you have a $3,000 account and still earn sufficient return. In my opinion, trading options in an ETF will be preferable over just having one position and one stock on because if that one stock goes against you, it can be very painful. This is my least favorite technique of the three that I'm going to share with you, but it is one way that you can trade options in a small account. When it comes to picking the strike price that I sell put options at, I like to use technical analysis to help me make that decision. If you'd like more information on how we use technical analysis to pick the strike prices that we sell our put options at, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis Once This Video Is Finished. Next, we're going to talk through my second most favorite technique you can use to trade options in a small account, but if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. It helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you my absolute favorite technique that you can use to trade options in a small account. The second technique that you can use in a small trading account is actually my second most favorite technique of the three. It's one that I still use and I'm actually currently using it today. That technique is to use leap options. With this technique, you're able to trade call and put options. You're able to buy and sell those options. Predominantly though, when I trade leap options, I'm generally buying them. One of the reasons why I like using leap options is because it allows you to gain control of a stock whether you think it's going up or down, and you're able to do that for a fraction of the price of the underlying stock. So you're able to control it for quite a bit less than what the stock is currently trading at. But if you choose to buy a leap option, you won't suffer much from time decay, which is a big negative factor when you buy shorter term options. Here you see an example of a leap option position I'm in right now in Disney. I entered this position about seven months ago on March 20th. 
In the blue rectangle, you can see that it cost me $21.69 plus commission per share to buy this LEAP option. So my total purchase cost was $2,169.33. As you can see here, this was at a time when Disney was trading around $90 per share. If we had bought the stock outright, it would have cost us $9,000. But since we use LEAP options, we are able to gain control of 100 shares of Disney stock for a fraction of what it would cost us if we had bought the 100 shares outright. As a result of using LEAP options, we're currently up in this position over 180%. Since we bought this long leap call option, we've been selling call options against the long call that we bought. The result is that as you can see on the bottom right of the screen in the blue box, even though this $85 January 2022 long leap option cost us $21.69 per share, our cost basis in this position is actually down to $1,181 or $11.81 per share. If you'd like more information on the ins and outs of how we use LEAP options to generate awesome returns and cash flow, check out the video series entitled LEAP Options in the link above in the description below when you're done watching this video. At the beginning of this video, I told you I would share with you my absolute favorite technique that you can use to trade options in a small account. That technique is called option spreads. Briefly, let me tell you why this is my favorite technique to use in a small trading account. First, for those of you that are newer to options, a spread is simply an option position where you not only sell an option, but you also buy one. An example of this is the Leap Disney position that I just talked through. I bought a call option and at the same time sold a call option against it. Here you see the four choices you have in trading option spreads. You can do a debit or credit option spread. They can be bullish or bearish in nature. I won't go into great detail here on option spreads, but if you'd like more details on how they work, I'll share a link to a video I did specifically on option spreads in just a minute. But I do want to talk through the advantages and disadvantages of using spreads. Generally, when it comes to options, I like to sell options. So when it comes to option spreads, I generally like to get credit or cash put into my account when I do the trade. The major advantage of using option spreads in a small account is that instead of having only one or two positions on that put all of your capital at risk, by using spreads you can risk a fraction of the capital you have available and still get a really nice return. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Let's say that you believe that Apple is going to be above $100 by December 18th. Since you only have $3,000 in your account, you don't have the $10,000 you would need to fully cover 100 shares of Apple at $100 a piece. So how do we use a spread to minimize our risk but still get a nice return? As you can see on the chart, we could sell the December 18th 100 strike put option for $1.82 per share and buy the December 18th $97.5 put option for $1.44 per share. The net credit we put into our account is $0.38 cents per share or $38 for the 100 shares. Notice that because we're doing a spread, we only have $2.50 per share at risk. Since we're trading 100 shares, we're only risking $250 of our $3,000 account. This trade I just described is called a bullish short put credit spread. We can turn this around and make it a debit spread if we believe that Apple will be below $100 per share by December 18th. Then you take the other side of this trade by buying the 100 strike put option for $1.82 and selling the $97.5 put option for $1.44. That would cost you $0.38 cents per share times 100 shares or $38. And your max cash on the back side would be $2.50 per share or $250 if the stock was below 97.5 on December 18th. Using spreads is a way of generating really good returns while minimizing what you have at risk. To me, that is vital in a small trading account. Using spreads allows you to be wrong multiple times and you're still able to continue playing the game because you have been protecting your capital. Using spreads is the number one technique I suggest new option traders use. The one negative I see when using spreads is that if you're doing credit spreads, you're having to buy an option to cover yourself. In essence, you're buying insurance and that insurance eats away at your profit. But in my opinion, when you have a small account, that insurance is vital. As option traders, we want to be able to keep playing the game forever. If you risk all your capital on one trade and you're wrong, you're out of the game. It's game over. By using option spreads, your odds of staying in the game are a lot better. If you like more in-depth details on how option spreads work, as well as which one is my favorite, debit versus credit spreads, 
check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled Net Debit Versus Net Credit Option Spreads. In that video, I go into great detail about the two types of spreads you can use in a small or large account. If you'd like daily or weekly information on the exact trades that we do, as well as the current option orders we have placed, consider becoming a patron at the link in the description below. You'll be receiving awesome information that you can use to become a better, more profitable option trader, all while supporting this channel. And a quick shout out and a big thank you to our current Patreon members. Thank you for your support. Check out the videos in the link above and in the description below where I share with you exactly how much cash flow we receive on a monthly basis by selling options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.